I'm Max Truthenberg Marshall, founder of Porchlight. Divorce is a time of major transition in your life. It's not just about changing your marital status on a piece of paper. Pretty much everything about your day-to-day -day life is gonna look different after your divorce. To help you through the process, Porchlight has compiled a list of five things that you must do during your divorce. Must do number one is put together a to-do list. Get yourself organized, figure out what you're gonna need to do to complete the divorce process, not just the legal process, but the practical aspects as well. So that it could include if you're gonna be selling your house as part of the divorce process, you need to interview real estate agents. If you need to hire someone who can help you move, you're gonna to need to look into movers. There are a lot of logistics that you'll need to take care of and knowing what those things are will help you be better organized. Once you've put that list together, then you can prioritize which things you need to do first, which are most important, and which can be left until after the divorce is completed. Must do number two is set your divorce goals. Of course, divorce goals include what you wanna get out of your divorce. Do you want to get specific assets out of the marriage or a specific amount of child support or alimony or to pay a specific amount of child support or alimony? Those are important goals and they're things that you can work on with your attorney. But you also need to set goals for what you want your life to look like going forward as you transition from married to newly single. I recommend using the five F's to help you plan these goals. Those F's are family, friends, finance, fitness, and fun. If you set goals for yourself in those five areas, you're gonna have a comprehensive and holistic picture of your life and make sure that you have a healthy and positive life going forward. These goals are just as important as the legal goals in your case, because ultimately, your divorce is about you as an individual, not just your legal marital status. Must do number three is to prioritize self-care. This is something that can be hard to do and often as we go through our lives and we get busy and overwhelmed by the daily minutia of what's going on, we forget to put ourselves first. Divorce is an opportunity to change that, to reflect on what your life looks like and where you're shorting yourself by not taking care of yourself. You have to put on your oxygen mask before you can help others. So make sure that you're making time to take care of yourself so that you can get through your divorce in a healthy and happy way. Must do number four is to consider whether you want to change your name. Of course, this applies if you changed your name when you got married. If you didn't change your name, then you don't have to consider this. But if you took on your spouse's last name or hyphenated your name when you got married, you might wanna change back to your former unmarried name. That's a very personal decision, but it's one you're gonna to wanna to think through. If you're feeling that the divorce is a major opportunity for change and growth for yourself, you might want to help yourself feel and experience that by giving yourself a new last name. But if you're struggling with the transition, you might want that sense of continuity and you might want to keep your last name. Must do number five is hire an attorney. This might seem obvious, but so many people try and DIY their divorce and go without an attorney. Unfortunately, you don't know what you don't know. So that can lead to a lot of mistakes that you don't even find out about until years down the road. The best thing to do is to hire an attorney to protect yourself. But the other major benefit of hiring an attorney is that you don't have to navigate the legal system on your own. The attorney's gonna worry about that for you. So you can be focused on the rest of the items on your to-do list, on your goals and your five Fs, and taking care of yourself throughout the divorce process. If you need help with a divorce in Georgia, Porchlight is here to guide you through the process. Whether it's an uncontested or a contested divorce, we will help make the experience easier for you so that you can focus on moving positively into your future.